Here we are guys, sitting inside the Lethal Performance 2020 Shelby GT500 carbon fiber track pack car. We've been posting lots of images and videos and content regarding the new Whipple 3.8 liter supercharger kit that's going on this car here shortly. So what we've got to do first is a baseline dyno. We do not know what type of power this car makes from factory. So we want to actually do a before and after dyno to see the improvements we got with a Whipple supercharger. So we're off to dyno and performance in West Palm Beach, Florida. We're going to put it on their Mustang dyno, get some baseline poles on it, and then we're going to go from there. But before we actually go and put this car on a dyno, there's one important thing that you've got to do, and that's pull apart the connection for the dyno connector. Is it actually called a dyno connector? The dyno connector? The dy dyno connector. Is that a good name for it? All right, so we're going to call it a dyno connector, right? It's a plug, basically, that's up by your air box that you want to pull apart. That allows this car to be run on the dyno and not throw any like fault codes for torque management system or anything like that. So I'm going to go up front. I'm going to show you exactly where it is. We're going to unplug it and then we're going to make our dyno poles. All right. So like I mentioned, just before we do the dyno poles, you want to make sure that you actually pull this plug. And uh, we're not talking about that type of plug guys. All right. Seriously, get your mind out of the gutter. All right. It's a dyno plug. Okay. So we're going to pull this apart here. There you go, separate it, and now we're ready to rock and roll. That sounds so good. American horsepower, baby. Screaming Eagles! So that's actually really good for a, for a Mustang Dino. 668. Uh, like, like 668 and 575. That's, that's, I think that's awesome. Uh, there's 760 horsepower at the engine, flywheel horsepower. So you have to account, obviously, for the drivetrain loss to the rear wheel. And then also that we're on a Mustang Dino, which typically reads lower than a Dino Jet. But I think that's really impressive for, uh, for a Mustang dyno and a completely stock car. And it sounds phenomenal, that Corsa exhaust, man. Woo! How come that sounds so good, man? Seriously, I, I mean, it's great seeing this thing and he, like all the power that it makes, but hearing that sound, just unbelievable, man. Seriously, of course the performance exhaust, man. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Good stuff. Got the bass lines out of the way. Time to slap that Whipple on there. Fuel system headers, injectors, some tuning. Let's do it. Nice. Awesome, 674. And again, for a Mustang dyno, that's, that's solid. Solid numbers for being on a, a dyno that has a bigger correction factor than a, than a uh, dyno jet. Good stuff, man. Nice, so we got a great starting point. We know where we're at. All right, well, there you have it. Those are the first baseline poles on the Lethal 2020 GT500 carbon fiber track pack over here at Dyno and Performance in West Palm Beach. We made uh, 674 wheel horsepower, 516 foot-pounds of torque on a Mustang dyno, which is pretty awesome, and it's hot down here. It's hot, 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 South Florida style. So we've got our baselines done, and now it's time to get cracking on that Whipple install. So you guys give us a follow, check us out. We're gonna be posting tons of videos and content about the build, and then we'll be back here to do the tuning on it real soon. So uh, thanks a lot for following us, guys. We love you. Mustang King, as always, and I'm out. <laughs>